This is a preview for the week of March 13th to March 17th. We'll have, of course, echoes from the NFP and the ECB. There's a time shift in the US and Canada that means that US figures uh, will be released one hour earlier and, there, and I mean closer to uh, European figures. Nothing much is expected on Monday. On Tuesday, we have Chinese industrial output, uh, German zoo business sentiment, always interesting, and a PPI, uh, producer price index in the UK, warm up for the CPI. Wednesday is the really important day on the calendar next week. Uh, UK jobs report that we mentioned, watch out for jobless claims and wages. Um, inflation figures from the UK, top tier figure, retail sales, even more important than inflation, but everything is overshadowed by the Federal Reserve. Bearing any uh, disaster in the NFP, the Federal Reserve will raise rates for the third time in the cycle. It's an important rate decision. They will also produce new forecasts for inflation, employment, and growth. And Janet Yellen, the Fed chair, will hold a press conference. We'll preview that next week. It will be a live coverage, of course, and we talked about it a lot, but that's the plan. If they'll be more optimistic, if it'll be a hawkish hike, the dollar will rise. If it'll be what's called a dovish hike, um, then the dollar could fall. But just raising rates and not changing forecasts, that's basically priced in, and I don't expect a long-term impact from this event. We already had quite a significant impact from raising expectations, okay? On Wednesday, we also have uh, GDP in New Zealand. Uh, moving forward Thursday, also busy day, jobs report in Australia. Three rate decisions that are not the Federal Reserve. We have Japan, <clears throat> not expected to rock the boat, but at least dollar yen will move not only by the Fed, but also for, due to the Bank of Japan for a change. Swiss rate decision held only once per quarter. No changes expected in policy. They'll stress that they want to continue intervening to weaken the franc to support inflation and to push exports. And nobody will label them as currency manipulators because, well, of their bank accounts. Uh, Eurozone inflation, these are final figures, so less important, especially after the ECB. Great decision in the UK, no changes expected. I expect them to express worries about the um, weak pound. That's the meeting minutes. And we have housing data in the United States, uh, housing starts, building permits, and the Philly Fed figure and jobless claims. Everything comes after the Fed. So Thursday will be, for the US dollar, more about a second reaction to the Fed than the data. And on Friday, maybe we'll have a waning impact of the Fed because we have industrial output, more importantly, consumer confidence. Uh, that's a quiet end to a very, very busy week. Well, well, uh, the busiest, the most important event, of course, is the Fed decision on Wednesday evening, evening here in Europe. Okay, so that's the preview for the week of March 13th to March 17th. Uh, well, well, quite a long show today, quite a busy show. Time to wrap it up. So, welcome to a market to end all markets. Welcome to FX Pro.